Let me show you how to make a seatbelt guitar strap with perfect strap ends every time. Okay, you'll need to get some 50 millimeter in width uh, standard seat belt. The blue part here is 50 centimeters in length and the longer black part is 110 centimeters. The actual construction is very simple and we'll be concentrating mostly on the leather strap ends. I provided a link to the uh, template for this strap end and you need to just trace around it on a piece of veg tan leather and then I'm using a uh, Japanese skiving knife rather cack handedly to cut through that up to two millimeter in thickness uh, leather. I'm not an expert in this and uh, it took me two passes to get through the leather but I wasn't unhappy with the result and with a bit of finessing of the edges like this it ended up being actually quite decent A better way by far is to use a dedicated cutter. Uh, you can get these made, custom made, and for the same price as that uh, Japanese skiving knife I got this cutter made and uh, you just get a better result. But the one I did by hand is certainly usable as you can see here. This is how you use the cutter in a one ton arbor press. It just takes one or two presses and you get a nice end piece every time. Using the template again, I'm drilling an eight millimeter hole for the strap pin. And then using it again, the template again, I can see where the uh, slit line has to be. Now, the, on this um, prototype, the slit was actually too long. Um, really it, it needs to be only double the size of the strap pin. If it's any longer uh, it may just slip off the uh, end of the, uh, the guitar uh, even with um, you know rubber washer uh, strap uh, locks so I recommend making a shorter slit than you see here. To create the slit I'm using effectively a razor blade which has one edge completely blunt and uh, jigging it up under the arbor press again uh, using a magnet to keep it uh, parallel with the work to keep it to keep the blade vertical and uh, just gently pressing in uh, to give me a perfect cut every time on the line just punching a, a hole at the end uh, to prevent it from fraying any further but just to say again yeah that slit is actually too long meld the end of the uh, seat belt material and then using a 45 millimeter square I'm marking out where the stitching line is going to go I'm using a regular uh, home sewing machine with a leather uh, needle and a piece of suede on the back there uh, will give a nice finish to the product very slow on this hand crank machine but uh, yeah it's a joy to use and something within everybody's budget These are the different types of uh, uh, buckles that you can use. This is a cam buckle um, and the one uh, just above it is a regular type of buckle but uh, the problem with those on guitar straps is it leaves a flappy bit, a bit of a tail that uh, most people wouldn't like so the more orthodox way is to use a combination of the top two buckles that you see here. One is a 50 millimeter assister and the other, I don't know what it's called, a decan, they are called in Japan, but uh, you can get those on Amazon or, well, even in a thrift, uh, in, even in a thrift store, you can find uh, these on bags at uh, very low cost. So to construct the belt, you sew the shorter piece just like that there. And then the longer piece, you first sew it onto the middle bar of the assister that you can see there and then you can feed it through that loop there and then back over itself so that it comes through the end there so then it can be adjusted without difficulty 
and then your strap is finished.